Okay, let's review Sports Research Triple Strength Omega-3 Fish Oil Burpless Fish Oil Supplement with EPA and DHA fatty acids from single sourced wild Alaskan Pollock 1250 milligrams, 90 soft shells. It's, it has 50,000, almost 50,000 ratings on Amazon, 4.7. Let's see. Let's see if, if it really is a 4.7. My name is Gattis. I am a uh, co-founder at uh, this company called uh, GF Good Fats. Uh, we have our own omega-3 supplement. And then we also have an olive oil. I'm here in Tanzania living for a few months and doing reviews in this uh, beautiful place. Okay, it's foggy, but it is beautiful. Okay, anyways, let's go into the review. When it comes to reviewing uh, omega-3 supplements, I have five things. I look for a bottle that does not let through light. I look for a good dose of at least one gram. I look for the form. I want to know the form of the fish oil. I look for antioxidants. And then lastly, I look for certifications and third-party tests or something or some test report that shows me all the things that I want to know. So already from the start, what I can see is that the bottle does not let through light. Good. Checks off. Let's look at the dose. We want, uh, what we want is one gram of, um, of omega-3 fatty acids, more specifically one gram of EPA and DHA combined. And let's see, so there there are 1250 milligrams of fish oil and there is 1040 milligrams of omega-3 per serving. I like that, that's a good start. Let's look at how much EPA and DHA. If we do the math, then EPA and DHA combined is 950 milligrams per one soft gel. I like that, that's a good dose. It's it's uh, it's close enough sports research they know what they're doing i like it it checks off in my book if it was me i would probably take two of these soft gels if you're if you're looking to increase your omega-3 index uh, from a low four percent or five percent to eight percent i would take two of these capsules for three months and then go to and so and then after three months switch to one capsule just a quick kick quick tip in there dose checks off what's the form what's the form can i see okay preferred form triglyceride form i wonder well it's it's probably it's probably uh reesterified uh, triglyceride form because because how concentrated the omega-3 fatty acids are within one soft shell of fish oil i'd say that this is molecularly distilled so it's also uh, more safer in terms of contaminants and heavy metals so the form, I like the form. This is cool. Just to comment on this fish oil is sourced from wild Alaska Pollock. I don't know how big big of a fish that is, but I just wanna like, let's uh, to touch upon the, the the source material of the fish oil and the cold and the warm waters. Usually there there would be a lot of people that would say that the fish that uh, the fish oil is made from should come from cold waters, and that is that definitely is generally better. If uh, if the fish oil goes through uh, less processing, like it's uh, it's just a, it's just a, in the form of natural triglycerides. Like for example, uh, I reviewed uh, Nature's Bounty fish oil here on Amazon, and and it's in natural triglyceride form. If it comes to that, and if and if no more processing is done to that fish oil, then I would want to see that that f uh, that uh, that fish oil uh, is sourced from fish that come from cold waters. But for the most part, even with natural triglycerides, these fish oil goes through rigorous processing. And if and if this and if the manufacturing process is done right, then all the contaminants, all the heavy metals should be within within the regulations. And the Totox score, like the freshness marker, also should be within the regulation. So that's about the source material. Okay, so third point, check, form is good. Let's look at uh, the antioxidants and we see that they have tocopherols. Okay, sports research uses the bare minimum for their fish oil. I would like to see more. I would like to see if, 
if there would be some uh, there could be some extract in here or maybe they would use um, tocotrienols delta tocotrienols from uh, the american uh, river company the bigger the variety of antioxidants in a fish oil or an omega-3 supplement the better because it, it just increases the bioavailability of uh, of the omega-3 fatty acids like this is um, this is what we did for for harmony like uh, we added the nutrient cofactors to synergize together with the omega-3 fatty acids we have uh, three different types of antioxidants in there we have alpha tocopherol we have delta tocotrienol which is 50 times more potent as an antioxidant than uh, tocopherols and these are both vitamin these are both forms of vitamin e it's just one form is 15 times more potent as an antioxidant and then we have polyphenols from uh, from high phenolic extra, extra virgin olive oil when it comes to really going for those cardiovascular benefits i don't think that there is an omega-3 supplement out there that uh, that matches what we have done in harmony in in this one they have done the bare minimum this this is you know this is basic it's very basic for uh, but you know what for for the for the amount of price that they ask uh, and the dose and i did see if we touch upon the the fifth point which is certifications and, uh, and testing i do see that uh, they are certified by the international official standards which is amazing and then they they are msc certified which is they they abide uh, by the by sustainable fishing practices also amazing and they even have the igen which means that uh, there are no uh, gmos in this in this fish oil but <laughs> typically when you manufacture fish oil they they wouldn't have GMOs either way. These these two organizations, uh, IFOS and IGEN, they they come from the they come from the same company. It's just having this IGEN is is just like a one step further. Uh, kind of, I feel like it's kind of unnecessary, but it's good that it's there. Uh, IFOS is really great. Like uh, you can go to their website, look up uh, the sports research uh, product. You can see the latest test report, and this test report shows you that. For total omega-3 fatty acids, they list uh, 1,040 milligrams of, uh, of omega-3s, but there are actually 1,000 and 1,124 milligrams. So there's more than they list. It's, it's just it's just great, you know. Then uh, the PCBs are all in check. You can see that the total oxidation or the total score is all in check. All the heavy metals are in check. It's just a great report. So yes, sports research, very well certified, very well tested, that checks off, I like it. And just for safety, like always, you can take this, uh, you can take a fish oil capsule of this fish oil, cut it open, squeeze it into a cup, smell it, if it's mildly, mildly fishy or no odor, perfect, but if, it's, it, if it reeks, then I wouldn't take it. By the way, I did do a video on, uh, on, the, on these five points of uh, what I look for in a fish oil. It's called uh, how to choose an omega-3 supplement or something like that. Uh, I'll link it down below uh, so you can go through these points more in depth when choosing an omega-3 supplement. But when it comes to my verdict over here, to summarize, the bottle is great, the dose is great per serving, uh, the, form is, uh, the form is great, antioxidants could be better, could be better. If they added something more in here in terms of antioxidants, you just have this assurity that the omega-3 fatty acids make it to the cell membranes. When it comes to the fifth point, the certifications, they go by the sustainable, uh, they go by the sustainable uh, fishing practices and they have a third party test support for contaminants and heavy metals and the TOTOX score, it's all good. So my verdict is I would take this fish oil. I think for the price, it's a very good product. I would give it a four. If they had more antioxidants in, the, in there, I would give them more, but, but four is great. Okay, that's all from me. Bye.